promise. Gotta hand it to you, Dr. Hunt. You just don't give up. Unfortunately, that's also gonna get you killed. What are we doing? Why'd you make me come here? I've kept my eye on your progress ever since you had your father's suicide note examined. I just never thought you'd get this far. I still don't understand. What do you have to do with my father? You don't need to know. No, I deserve to know. I was a rookie patrol officer. I had this boyfriend I worshipped. Except he left me. For Lindsay Pratt. One night I attacked her, told her to stay away from him, but she wouldn't do it. So I paid her another visit. The situation got out of hand. Yeah, you strangled her. And I called Arthur Wilcox. I told him everything. He was, he was a friend of the family. Instead of arresting me, he told me how this could all go away. Right. Stick a 13 cent stamp on her tongue. Make it look like the work of a serial killer. I just had to get rid of the loose ends. That's when I found out she went to your father for treatment. I was afraid she told him who attacked her. You forced him to write his own suicide note. You shot him, and then you dug him up out of the ground like an animal. All I ever wanted to be was a cop. The thought of losing that. What about losing a daughter like Lindsay's parents, a father? You destroyed my family. And I've spent the last 35 years trying to atone for that. Screw you. You can justify this all you want. You're nothing but a cold-blooded killer. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had to kill Wilcox and Fitz. If you didn't have this compulsion to keep digging up the past. You killed Fitz. He never suspected anything back then, until you questioned him. Then he called me, said something wasn't right. I've come too far to go back now. You are my last loose end. Megan Hunt just couldn't get over her father's death. So she's decided to repeat history. Please, don't do this. I have a daughter. For an intelligent woman, you still don't seem to get it, do you? I have to. Thank you.